2019 has been quite a year, so many things have happened. Notre Dame, climate fights, revolutions, impeachment. Augmented and virtual reality space has been very busy as well this year. Girl, you didn't know. Even though this has been a tough one, we at VAR Studio think there are so many cases to cover for this review episode of 2020. While I will of course go deeper into detailed news, latest cases and award-winning XR experiences from previous year, there is one big highlight we found really important. 2020 has made businesses acknowledge XR, while before it was seen as a fun, entertaining tool, now it's finally taken seriously. The tone has switched from somewhat skeptical to something around so, what's up in your field? Uh, what are the latest cases? We're actually thinking about trying it out in one of our projects. This video should give you a general idea of what are the latest cases and where the technology is currently. Jumping right into the most interesting part – cases. Here is a hand-picked list of the most robust and interesting cases from 2020. There is plenty more, of course, but we just cannot fit all of them in this video. We hope this inspires you to do the further research yourself. Amazon Halloween AR Take a look at the following Halloween activation. Amazon has been playing around with AR for some years already, and this case only proves they keep investing in engagement marketing. Such a simple idea creates an additional interaction point with the brand by properly marking such an important holiday and its biggest tradition. Shopify AR Another e-commerce giant has been quite active in leveling up their AR experiences with the platform in 2020. While extending the assortment, Shopify also creates their own tools to help customers make a purchase that would, quite literally, fit. Kids always need interactive and engaging experiences for them to really pay attention. Favorite stories brought to life make this case super popular with the younger crowd. Now, where would we go without at least one travel case? This one is actually my personal favorite. It is an amazing virtual tour guide that would walk you through one of the ancient locations with a character, gamified mechanics, and high-level volumetric materials. MedTech has had to make a leap in remote education last year. Here is one of the loudest cases that involves mixed reality technology. Say it with the new Patron Virtual Gift Wrapper. Start by customizing a virtual bottle using photos, stickers, or personalized messages. In a new remote world of 2020, brands just had to come up with ways to help their customers make any interaction more personal. I think this one has made exactly that. Once again, an amazing case of how virtual reality is transforming the way we train or onboard employees. Simulate impossible scenarios or extreme conditions and let people safely go through a vital sequence of events to make sure they are ready for any situation possible. One bike store in Amsterdam may have taken things too far, but the campaign has turned out to be a hit. Not only does it shake you a little, your ride is also recorded so you can share this experience after. <laughs> that is mad! You got these massive drops. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Off to the news now. This year's focus was on improving the previously developed tools to create an even better AR experience. Major platforms as ARKit and ARCore has focused their efforts on two main aspects – occlusion and location-based AR. The key of the first one is to understand the surroundings and to put the digital content into it as naturally fitting as possible. 
The objective of this technology is simple. The digital object should fit into the environment and in regards to the position of other objects or people. Even social media platforms like Snapchat has made sure they are in such a huge and important trend. Now lastly, locations and understanding where exactly in the world the digital content and users are. Enabling multiplayer capabilities tied to actual locations in the world are in active tests on both ARKit and ARCore platforms. An even stronger indicator to GeoER development is, of course, seeing many different platforms rolling out their versions of solutions that enable interactions within locations. The most famous ones are, of course, Google Maps, Apple Maps, Vacitude, Mapbox, 6D, and so on. Yet, there are so many more startups testing their ideas in this field. Google Lens has been developing non-stop this year, from natural language processing using both visual and audio recognition to the newest educational libraries that teachers can use in their classes. Web, the most wanted technology that is still on its way to glory, has made a tremendous progress this year. Various platforms made this possible, from allowing standard things like screen capture and share to showcasing famous brand names. Product reviews and marketing campaigns were all around the web using AR. Next step is definitely behind open source GS libraries that would make web AR more available and yet mature in 2021. New mixed reality and virtual reality devices has made their input to the market. Oculus Quest 2 much anticipated model did exactly what it was expected to do. Vario, the Finnish startup, keeps bringing VR and now MR to the next level of visual and tracking. Collaboration of Lenovo and Pico, Mirage VR S3. Now off to the recognized pieces that you just absolutely have to see. Some awards were postponed, others took place online. We saw various shifts in types of projects, but one thing kept the same. There are many interesting augmented and virtual reality cases among both nominees and winners. Webby's Best User Experience winner – Night Sky. A popular use case for AR is of course in exploring the night sky, planets and cosmos in general. Yet this app got a reward for the best UX in 2020. Webby's best AR app – Rewild Our Planet Immersive storytelling called to make an impact on our environmental behavior. That's about all I need to tell about this case. The silver winner of the American AFI brand experience, Digital AR and VR, JFK Moonshot. I personally think this is one of the best user experiences out there. You can see our review in the video highlighted. This app will completely engage you in the exploration mode. Red Dot winner, Porsche Web AR Training. Porsche Digital Brand Academy has created this experience to train their employees across the globe. The result speaks for itself. That would be it for this one. The general aftertaste is somehow bittersweet. It is sweet that now AR and VR draw bigger attention and allure businesses to experiment with it. I just wish that on a higher level it wasn't such a bitter cost of it. Tell us which of the cases is now your favorite and I would love to hear your predictions for 2021. Take care of your loved ones, love your customers and make sure you're giving them immersive, engaging and visual experiences, maybe even using X-Reality. <laughs>